Now this is crazy. Talk whack to me. Talk whack to me. Yeah. Talk whack to me. Talk whack to me. So, woman named Khadijah Brown, she has been arrested for murdering her husband, Jeremy Brown, after they had been arguing all morning. And the crazy thing about this, it's even crazier than her murdering her husband was, it was actually recorded all on, I believe, Facebook Live. Now, she had went live and Khadijah Brown did. Her and her mother, who was there, were going off about the husband, saying he's not home and he didn't take care of the kids. He's not feeding the kids. And I guess they had gotten into an argument earlier. So the husband, Jeremy Brown, he comes in and they're going off the mom and her both going off on them, which, you know, your parents should not be that much invested in your relationship. There should be a, a clear line set. I get that that's your parent and they're looking out for you. But when you in a relationship with somebody, especially when you're married to somebody, you, your parents should not be given that much of a, a vocal in front of your husband or your wife or, your, you know, your significant other, whatever. That just should not be going on. So that's already a strike there. But as we can clearly see, the lady didn't have it all together and probably wasn't the best person to be with. it. And I'm not saying he is. I'm just saying she's the one who killed him. Now, they go back and forth. I think he, you know, she's trying to take his phone and do all stuff. They go and they get into argument. Now, Jeremy at this point is trying to leave because he's got to be at work. And he, he only came there, I guess, to get some stuff to leave. For whatever reason, as he's trying to leave, this lady Khadijah just decides she's going to shoot him with the gun. One shot, boom, he's dead. Dead instantly. Now, to make matters even worse, the kids are there. And so you can hear the kids crying. You can hear them talking about they want their daddy. At one point in the video, you can hear... I don't know if it was Khadijah, the mama saying your daddy's dead. And Khadijah's crying. Oh, I didn't know it was one in the chamber. You're playing around with this man's life. Look, to bring a gun out, to shoot somebody because they want to leave is crazy. To bring the gun out in general is crazy. What are you bringing the gun out for? Why are you trying to play like with my life? This is my life. You know what I'm saying? Regardless of if you're man or woman, don't bring no gun out. And please let a person leave. Let somebody leave. I swear to God. Man, we already know we had the disadvantage of the argument. Because everybody's going to look at us like we the bad person no matter what. So, a lot of times, and I agree with this, men do just want to leave. You want to get away from the conflict. Because you talking, a lot of women like to talk tough to men like they can do something. And I really don't want to knock you out, which I have the power to do. So, I'm trying to remove myself from the situation. So, I hate when a woman is berating a man and then also trying to keep you from leaving. Like, don't, I got to have something because you, you pushing me. I'm a human at the end of the day. I'm trying to walk out the door. Let me go. So for her to take it upon herself to pull a gun out on her husband and the father of her children while her children are there, while her mother's there, shows a lack of character in herself. And I'm not surprised she would do something like this because already pulling that gun out shows who you are. Going live about your relationship so everybody can have access to your issues shows who you are. So all that fake crying she was doing, because in the video you hear her crying, and I didn't mean to, and I don't know you did mean to, because there was no reason to pull a gun out when the man came in. I believe he was on the phone with his uncle talking about he not finna do nothing, he just coming to get his stuff and he walking out. There was no hint of him trying to continue escalating the issue. You wanted to put on the show. That's why you got the camera. You wanted to put on the show, but it got a little too real for you. You went too far with it, and now I'm happy she's arrested for murder and... I, the audio was all there. We have her talking about it. Everything she's saying. We know that she shot him. And she pulled the gun out as he was trying to leave. You know, like at one point, I don't know if the gun, the, the phone got knocked out of her hand or whatever. But the, initially she was recording everything. We could see everything. And, it, and then it was like the phone got knocked over to the side. But we still heard everything. And, you know, they're prosecuting her for murder. She deserves it. I feel bad for those kids. Um, this sucks that they have to be around for this witnesses you know this is something they're going to have to hold on to and deal with for the rest of their lives they lost their father over something so senseless over a dumb argument because their mom was an immature idiot i feel so so bad for them this isn't a man versus woman thing this is really just a terrible person and this is a terrible person that's what she was but i will take this moment again to advise both men and women if the person wants to leave let them leave and women please Man can't. A man cannot put his hands on you. We don't have the luxury of being upset and just hitting you like you have luxury with us. Please, if we want to leave, let us leave. And men, if a woman want to leave, let them leave. Don't hold nobody. 
you can't control what nobody do. And it's probably best if it's a heated situation for somebody to leave so that y'all can collect yourselves and come back together and talk more rationally and like adults instead of just being angry. Unfortunately, this man's life is gone. He's been taken away from his kids. They lost both of their parents because the mom's going to be in jail. And even if she's not in jail for the rest of her life, you got to believe she's going to get some decent amount of time for this. So that's a loss. Nobody is winning this situation. It's all heartbreak. It's all sad. I hate that this had to happen. And I just hope that this, if, if you can find a silver lining in all of this crap, I hope that this makes people think about their actions more and realize it's just the argument and we can be mad, but let's, let's live another day. I really do hate this. And I pray for those kids and hope that y'all pray for them too. Talk whack to me. Talk whack to me. Talk whack to me. Talk whack to me.